All right, number six, we have the square root of negative 20. Okay, so here 20 is even, so it can be broken down, or at least we can try to rewrite it. Um, I'm going to rewrite uh, the square root of 20, and I'm going to go ahead and put the i at the back, and now I'm going to try to break down 20. Uh, 20 we can rewrite as 2 times 10. And 10 we can rewrite as 2 times 5. Okay, so we break all of this down to prime. And I have a pair of 2's that will come out. And the 5 will stay under the radical. So when I write my final answer, the 2 that came out, I'll write the 2. And then I will write the i. And then square root of 10. You can write the i at the back or you can write it in between. I did remember we do use the write um, in between the square root. But it'll take either way. I think I wrote it at the back before. This time I'm going to write it between just so you can see. Uh, square root of 10. Okay, so they don't like it. Let me put this i at the back. Maybe it does need to be all the way at the back. Oh, it's not 10, it's 5. I'm sorry. That's what it is. The 5 is what's staying under the radical. So, let me go back. Let's do 2i square root of 5. Okay, there we go. Alright, number 7. We have negative square root of negative 9. <clears throat> 9 is a perfect square, 3 times 3. So this square root will become 3i. And then this negative on the outside will stay. So you will have a negative because of here. And then uh, this will become an i, and this will be 3i. 3i. So just negative 3i. 